for anyone who has come across the term the precession of the equinoxes, I thought that I would give a simple little explanation of it. Um, it's something that you come across somewhat regularly in various essays and things, especially of a metaphysical nature, um, but the concept is not at all uh, new age or, or uh, a spiritual idea. It is a scientifically um, provable fact that is well known by everybody. Um, uh, but basically what it refers to is a roughly 26,000 year cycle in which the constellations of the zodiac, the stars in the sky, rotate around the Earth. And over the course of 26,000 years, they come back to their original position. So the reason it's referred to as the precession of the equinoxes is if on the equinoxes you're looking at the rising sun, then the sun will rise into one of the uh, signs of the zodiac. Currently we're in the age of Pisces. Um, Jesus is associated with the fish symbol because he brought about the age of Pisces, and then we are on the cusp of uh, going into the age of Aquarius. So what that means is that when the sun rises from the east, then it rises into the constellation of Pisces, and at the moment then it's uh, on the edge of Pisces and Aquarius. Um, and so every uh, roughly 2,000 years, 2,160 years, I believe, then, then that uh, uh, constellation moves. It's actually slightly, slightly different because the constellations are of different, uh, different sizes, um, and so uh, it isn't an exact uh, moment of when you move from one constellation to the other. But if you split the 26,000-year cycle by 12, um, then you get 2,160 um, uh, segments. Uh, segments of time. And so um, the question is, what exactly uh, causes the precession of the equinoxes? And that is not scientifically proven. There is a theory that this is caused by a wobble in the Earth's axis. So as the Earth is uh, rotating through space around the Sun, there's some kind of a little wobble in it that makes it so that uh, the Earth moves uh, in, in uh, terms of our perspective of the stars, and so this causes the precession of the equinoxes. Um, but there is a different theory that I'm going to discuss in the next video that is uh, very compelling, very interesting. Um, so look for the video titled, Do We Have Two Suns? And uh, that gives you a little clue.